Is she going to get up now? Oh dear. Well, not really. extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger. No. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of him. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. It's time to fight. You could stay, Samara. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. <laughs> That's probably useful for more missions than you'd think. I read your report, Commander. We had no 
idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Arda and Yakshi left. May the Arda and Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Part of me is now worried that that was the... Do I still have the thing to meet her in the Citadel? Good, I do, because I was a little terrified. But maybe that had been it. With that little... I in They've introduced a new enemy type, and... She's there, and she's wrapping it up. Um, we could go to Takuna. Oh, there's some more on board, actually. Let's go and talk to people. Oh, no. Oh. I thought Samara was coming aboard. Oh, is that join forces as in? Sorry, Commander. Sorry, Commander's train. Really, I just control. Okay, nothing new. Oh, she's joining my forces. Joining my forces, not joining my forces. The Justicars are an ancient Asari order dedicated to finding and punishing those who would harm others. They rigidly adhere to the Justicar Code, a comprehensive, complicated list of laws. By assaulting the innocent, slaughtering the helpless, and refusing to acknowledge any authority above themselves, the Reapers are an affront to nearly everything the Code stands for. The Justicar Samara has set aside all of the responsibilities, pledging to stop the Reapers, even if it kills her. I was terrified when th remembering that, that Falaire, when she said, you won't have to... As in, you won't have to kill me or yourself. I was terrified she was going to jump off the monastery at that point. Because it was on a cliff. I was terrified. But she didn't die. Hooray. Sorry. Not as much death. Good. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Hooray. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Commander. Uh, let's go and chat with everyone, shall we? New email. Ooh, sorry, squad ready. From Corinne Lemace. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, because a sorry high command has signed my squad to support you, we will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I know, knew a few of the commandos who went down to the monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that that place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corinne Lemace. From Samara. Shepard, I finished my business, business on Le Seuss. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates, dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come and find me there. All right. From Jacob Taylor. Hey Shepard, this crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are in, on it around the clock. Pretty soon I'll, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there. Things were so crazy, Angelics. It'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know. Hope to see you around. I've already visited you. From Bryn Cole. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility, Angelix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its own challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Dr. Bryn Cole. Lee Riley. Commander, my squad continues to defend the fuel reactor on Sione. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down, not on my watch. We will hold the line. Captain Lee Riley. That's like a captain thing. Like, all captains have to say, hold the line. Because uh, he was a captain in the first one, wasn't he? He was old Kirahi. Now he got promoted, it did. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the convoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we're not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. I'm 
one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. <laughs> ah, they can try. Uh, we've talked to everyone up here, haven't we? Everyone in old, anyone in old places? Ooh, Garrus is. Garrus is talking to Javik in the lounge. An entertaining idea that I must observe. Well, the lounge is... That's right out of here, isn't it? Lounge. No. Everybody was yes. fighting the Ragni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. Hello. People tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the dead Sori. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Shah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found a path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. <laughs> I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Hmm. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Hmm. Right, Gallus. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. Hmm. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Hmm. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. Yes. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. Oh this dear. This get a lot worse before it gets better. Hmm. Another time. Another time. It's a brilliant tactic. Ooh. When you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. It makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher law. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. I take the session more any day. Alright, so we'll chat with Liara and uh, use our new intelligence. Excellent find, Commander. Ooh. The information network terminal has been updated. Right. Matriarch Galay was an Asari of some importance for the connection to the Asari High Council, command and the council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols realize it's been activated by someone else. Galay's contacts can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or on behalf of the Asari Embassy grant someone a discount at all Citadel score stores. So, extra power damage or store discount. Um... I'm not really... I think I've bought most of what I want. I'll take the power damage, I think. I'd prefer this if this were all kind of tallied. Because there's a few... Like, there's three power recharge speeds. It could be all put together, couldn't it? Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures... Nobody deserves that. Hmm. Hello again. 
Correspondence from Classified Alliance Project Staff. Dear Locke, I was working on that project you sent me last night, and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitive redesign into your projections. It should shave 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Hmm. Right, let's let's meander back to the lounge and see what uh, Garrus and Jabbok say. Do they have any new? Nothing new. Okay. Maybe they only have the two lines. Who knows? Anything new? Feeling okay, Commander. Yes. Feeling okay, Commander. Yes. So that's this floor. Oh no, not Ashley. She may have something to say about the monastery having gone. But possibly not, though. Hey, Commander. Hello. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. Hmm. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. Yep. I wonder. Would different people have dialogue about what happened if I'd taken them instead of Liara and Ashley? That is not a side of me sorry I ever want to see. The I have to kill my daughter so I'll kill myself thing, or the uh, whatever the Reapers did to them thing. Shepherd. Okay, I. Shepherd. I'll, I'll be quiet. Down to engineering. Um, Javik's not here, so let's go and talk to Diana. I always do that. I always do that. There will be there will come one time where I want to talk to Javik and I'll go to Diana's room. <laughs> so are you doing a story on the Asari turned into reaper The Arnot Yakshi? No. Oh, phew. That story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Right. Commander. Okay. To engineering! See if Tally's got anything interesting to say about this uh, monastery. I was just thinking about the banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. And to see that done to them. The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. But not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. <clears throat> I just assumed we weren't useful. Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. Thanks, E.D. I think. Tally, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work, and your people are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hey, Shepard. Hello. Hey, Shepard. Hello. Commander. Hello. All good, Commander. Hooray! Commander? Hooray! Right. So down to the shuttle bay now. Ooh. While I'm here, we can uh, check out this armor that we've picked up. Which to our legs, weren't they? Give some power recharge, which I think is probably a good idea, thinking about it. Uh, what was it? Was it the Armax? 
I think it was. Yes, it would be. Um, okay. Done. Cortez. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Uh. Reviewing our maintenance schedules one more time. Everything is in order. Hooray! Everything is in order. Okay. And Mr. Vega. Hey. 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 Nothing new. Okay. I think we've not got anything particularly new to do. So, uh, next time, more side questage. I mean, we've got this mission with Dakuna now. Eventually we'll head to the Citadel for uh, to see the Asari, but not yet. So... Yes, more side quests. That's next time, I think. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.